This is the most impressive place on earth. This is the step pyramid that built by stone. We are in the burial chamber of the step pyramid. The step pyramid built by this genius architect, Imhotep. He was from a common man. He was not really an important man, but he came very important because of his mind. He is the first one on earth who invented the building from mud brick to limestone. He is the first one on earth to make the first ceiling by limestone. He was the first one on earth to make the first pillar of a stone. And this is why he was worshipped by the Egyptians. From this place, architecture was created. This burial chamber is cut under the ground. And the sarcophagus, huge 20 ton sarcophagus made of granite, is underneath the sand. We are in the 21st century now, trying to restore this pyramid. Trying because we are afraid that these tunnels and passages can, fa can fall down. People always love to hear about discoveries and uh, secrets from the sand, mummies, and things like this. But what I'm going to tell you now is not a discovery, but it's more thrill than a discovery. Restoring the step pyramid, the oldest pyramid in Egypt, that almost dated back to 4,900 years ago. I was underneath this pyramid for about 36 meters under the ground. What's amazing, I used to come to this burial chamber and I talked about all the time when I come by here, it was full of stone rubbles and sand for about four meters high. And I used to say it will never, and we'll never see the sarcophagus in our life. I never thought that we'll be able to do conservation and restoration and clean this sarcophagus. What's happened in the past? 500 BC, this burial, incredible chamber, fell down. And the people in that time came and they restored the chamber. And later, the burial chamber began to be destroyed. Huge stones that this burial chamber was cased with white fine limestone, has a stars on them. All of this came down on the sarcophagus they broke it to pieces. About two months ago, we found a tunnel underneath the sarcophagus. And that tunnel goes for about 60 feet or maybe 90 feet. But going in this tunnel, crawling, and see yourself under the base of this sarcophagus that maybe weight for 60 tons. And what's dangerous about that that you can look on the top and you can see the sarcophagus became to be pieces. The Egyptian team that working inside the step pyramid was able to remove the stone rubble, limestone blocks, and be able in two months to clean the surface of the sarcophagus for the first time. And now, actually, I don't think that any archaeologist in the past or anyone in modern times saw this for sarcophagus. It is the first time that we can actually see it. Samir, my assistant today, he said we have huge blocks underneath that we cannot move it. We need to break it. I said break it. Sometimes a surgeon can make a surgery. He has to sacrifice for things to save the patient. We are saving the step pyramid. And the most important thing, that you can see the touch of the workman who moved this granite from Aswan over 800 kilometers south of Cairo, brought it and made the sarcophagus. You can see the touch of the hands, signs that they made to see how the blocks will be near each other. They found names of the queens because 
the step pyramid is the only pyramid in the old kingdom that 11 of the king's daughter were buried inside. And no one really knows that all these tunnels and passages, if you take it in the computer and put it in the computer, you can see that the tunnels can show three miles and a half long. And that is the mystery of ancient Egypt. How the Egyptian imagined the other world full of tunnels and passages, dark, is something that I'll be proud all my life. Restoring the step pyramid. No one can do it. Many foreign expeditions tried, and they came, and they failed. We did very impressive project, completely done by an Egyptian team of engineering architects, archaeologists, and restorators. They worked together. I gave them the authority to make a decision, even if the decision could be wrong, but make a decision for the safety of the monuments. And this is why we are inside this burial chamber. It's something incredible. I'm sitting above the granite sarcophagus for the first time that people can see the sarcophagus that makes eternal to the king. And we are giving eternal to this unique pyramid, the step pyramid of Zosu.